Did he just wink? I didn't even know we could do that. I just looked for the buttons, but then one time, it was your nipples. Oh, good! It's okay. I've got 11 more ribs. Should we break both ankles or just one? I'm sorry. That was weird. In the movie, I play Cottontail, who is one of a set of triplets, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Uh, and Cottontail represents the sort of loose cannon. She is uh, a little bit mental. Uh, Will sort of base the characters on us, so she's a bit scruffy around the edges. Um, she's awesome. Well, luckily, I was so thrilled to just be part of the story. Um, because I think I had a call about it before I read the script and then I just thought, oh my God, the script is brilliant and so, so funny. So I sort of didn't think about it in terms of old fashioned or fresh or new or anything. I just thought, oh, this will be great and appeal to people of all ages for a number of reasons. Either they're coming back to it because they love Beatrix Potter and they want to see a different incarnation on screen or it's um, a family who just fancy a cinema trip to something really fun. Fans of the book will recognise characters they remember, but with, you know, like Beatrice Potter is, is uh, books, beautiful handwritten drawings, and this is uh, an animated film with, with mental animals. So there is, um, people will remember them, but obviously with their own twist. The film takes place in modern day, but it has all of the characters we know and love, just obviously with a little update for today. The sisters are integral to Peter's success for the garden. Uh, they're all sidekicks, they all love each other very, very much, and they all argue hilariously uh, along the way. And they each play a vital role in reclaiming it. <laughs>